Hey guys, welcome to our channel. In this video we will see how to implement one to many relationship spring boot. Let's implement. First, let's create one more model so we can implement one to many relationships. To make it simple, let's give model name address. We will extend abstract persistible so it helps not to write so many JPA related annotations so this class takes care automatically and change column name separated with an underscore. To implement relationship between tables, one table contains many to one and other contains one to many relationships. As you know that one user can have multiple addresses so address class maintain many to one relationship. So one annotation in many to one and other is joint columns so this column map to a user class. So like this we need to add one more field in user class and this field return type should be a collection. So for addresses field will use only one annotation one too many and need to pass for value. First is target entity means this class map to which class. Second is map by so this will take field name which we declared in other class and mark it with many to one annotation. Third is fetch type so fetch types are two, lazy and eager, so lazy means it will fetch records from child table only when is required, and eager means it will already fetch data from the child table. Fourth is cascade so here we make it all, actually, there are five types of cascade like detach, merge. Persist, refresh, remove. So what are they that your exercise? You need to find out. We will see how other fetch types and cascade type work at the end of the video. Let's run and see address table is creating or not, and adding the relationship with user and address or not. As you can see in log2 query for address table, one is created statement and other alter statement. Service started, let's check the database. Let's add some dummy data in address table so that will help when we write code to fetch address list. So for this time stop the server, and add CRUD operation code to an address. To make it simple we will create new classes for address. So if you haven't watched the previous video then this will cover and if already watched then this is for revision. We will put tautired annotation at constructor level if you want you can put field level annotation also.
So let's start with the simple one, find the list of address. Let's run and see address list is coming or not. See it's coming. It contains user object also. Let's add code to find the particular address, insert, update and delete. Let's run and see everything is working fine or not. Let's add one more record in address table so can differentiate when we call to find one service. The list is working. Find one is working. Delete is working fine. To test add an update we need to send JSON request so let's open REST client. So as you know we can't send an object in JSON request so it won't work directly so for that need to add something extra. Let's see what is that. 
so for that let's add one transient field for user ID. But before save address in a database we need to convert user ID to user object so need to modify some more code. So before saving let's update address object, get user object from user id and set user for address object. It's very simple, let's check it's working fine or not. See insert is working. Let's try again and add one more address. See insert is working. Let's check update will work or not, with the help of same code. See an update is also working fine. As I said before ending the video, we will see a practical demo of how fetch and cascade works. Let's check first what is the difference between fetch type lazy and digger. Let's run again. First, fetch user list. So when fetch type is lazy, you can see only one query is executing. Let's copy the query in Notepad so it's easy to see the difference. Now let's change to eager. Hit the same URL, let's check the console, how many queries executed, oops 3 query, I hope you got some idea, so to perform the same thing it's executing 3 query, so along with user getting the address as well, so this will affect our performance also, so to make sure that keep eager only when it's really required, and for cascade, I already said that is your exercise. Let's review whatever we added. As you can see with the help of very small change we implement one to many relationships in Spring Boot. That's the beauty of Spring Boot. Let's run again and see how delete works for the user.
we make it cascade type all when I delete the user, then along with that address also deleted. Select cascade type as per your requirement. I hope you like this video, then please subscribe our channel.